Laser Safety The Salon Laser System has many built-in safety features to ensure it is safe for home use. However, it is important that Salon Laser is always used responsibly. Read the instructions and use a manual carefully before using the unit. Salon Laser has two levels of user security. Firstly, the unit must be unlocked using a key. When not in use, the key must be stored responsibly in a safe place away from children. Secondly, the unit must be activated using the security code. This code can be found in the user manual. The laser energy output levels are variable. Each time the output levels are changed, the red enable light will flash until the enable button is pressed. The Salon Laser also features a bright yellow light which will cause you to blink if pointed directly at the eye. In addition, the laser will not operate if the touch pins are not in contact with the skin. The laser is also shielded to avoid any risk from reflected light. Skin Types and Power Settings Skin types are classified by the Fitzpatrick skin phototypes. The Salon laser enables treatment of relatively dark skin as well as fair skin types. However, laser hair treatment is not suitable for Afro-Caribbean or black skin complexions. This table, which is also in the manual, identifies your skin types and the recommended maximum power level. For example, if you are olive skinned, then the maximum recommend power level is 3. This is only a guide, and it is essential that you do a patch test to establish the correct output power level for your skin type. Patch test. Which level should I use? 24 hours before treatment, check for any reaction by testing a few hairs in the area to be treated. With a patch test, you should treat 2 to 3 hairs on each power level up to the maximum power level for your skin type. If you feel any discomfort, the previous lower power level is the maximum power level you should use. Skin colour varies on different areas of the body. You may find that you need different power level settings for different areas. Before treatment or doing your initial patch test, ensure you are familiar with the skin types and suitable power level sections. After 24 hours, if any of the test areas appear red or inflamed for any particular power level, select a lower level for treatment. If discomfort persists, seek medical advice. Preparation Hair removal methods which pluck the hair, such as waxing, epilators and tweezing, are not suitable for use before or between treatments. This is because the Salon laser needs a hair to be present in the follicle for it to work effectively to absorb the laser energy. Shaving, microdermabrasion discs and cream depilatories are ideal for use between treatments. Best results are achieved on hairs that are only 1 to 2 mm long. Shaving the area a day or two before treatment is ideal.
using your salon laser. Plug the power adapter into the unit and into the power supply. Use the key to unlock the key switch. The left power light will flash. Enter the security button code within 60 seconds of unlocking the unit. You will find this code in the user manual. It is important to read this thoroughly and understand the safety information before proceeding. If you enter an incorrect code or if you have exceeded the 60 second limit, the unit will beep twice and turn off. If this happens, turn the key off and then back on and re-enter the security code. Select the correct power level for your skin type using the plus and minus buttons. The red enable light will flash. Press the enable button to activate the unit. The red enable light will stop flashing. The amber light on the wand will illuminate. Place the touch pins either side of the target hair. The amber light will go off and the white ready light will illuminate between the touch pins. Press and hold the laser button to start the treatment. The touch pins must be removed briefly from the skin between treating each hair. During treatment, the white light goes off and the red laser beam is visible. When the red laser light treatment ceases, the amber light will come back on. You can now move on to the next hair. You will hear a series of beeps to indicate the laser is operating. On the lowest power levels, the laser will pulse on and off for 4 seconds. On the highest level, the laser will run continuously for 4 seconds. It is essential to target the root of the hair. Most hairs grow at an angle, so the root is not necessarily in line with where the hair meets the skin. If you trim the hairs to 1 to 2 mm long, they will stand more upright, making it easier to judge where the root is. You can also move the laser slightly whilst it is operating to precisely locate the root. You may feel a pinprick sensation during treatment, however most people do not feel anything. If you hit the hair itself, you may smell faint burning or even see a small puff of smoke. If no buttons are pressed within 60 seconds, the unit will enter a resting mode. To activate, reselect your power output level and press the enable button. After 20 minutes, the unit will turn off completely. We suggest treating each hair only once in each session. You can treat the same hair again after 24 hours if the area is not red or swollen. Do not treat hairs on tattoos, pimples, warts, black spots, birthmarks, burns, nipples, eczema, eyelashes, eyebrows or hair near the eyes, in the nose or ears. After use, turn the key switch to lock the unit. Remove the key to a safe place away from children. The initial treatment should be repeated after two to four weeks to take care of active hair follicles that were not effectively treated in the first session. Further treatments at regular intervals will target hairs moving out of the resting phase into the growth phase. Many follicles can be in the resting phase simultaneously so this hair regrowth can be significant. Successfully treated hairs will fall out within a few days. Light rubbing will encourage this.